Hey Air Signs, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your September by dailies. Okay, for the first through the second, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I'm going to start with Aquarius. Let's lay some cards out. Hopefully you guys did, you know, planted your seeds in August or months before that. So that you can, you know, harvest your goods this, this month. September, September, September. Finally, you know, autumn's here. Autumn's coming. It's the season of the falling away of the old so that the new can come in, right? I love it. All right, let's see. Whoa, that flew right out. Okay, Aquarius, you have the three of knives. You are suffering from some kind of heartache right now. I don't know if you were in separation with a significant other, if you said something you weren't supposed to and now you're regretting it and you're feeling very hurtful. Or you, you know, you're just bummed out. Let's see. Let's get two cards. Clarifiers here. Someone broke your heart. Something happened where you, it just hurt you right in the center. Oh yeah, damn, this is all air energy here. Let me take a look at this. Nine of Swords reversed. Six of Swords. See, Nine of Swords reversed with the Six of Swords and the Three of Knives. Holy hell. Yeah, you're definitely regretting. Either someone said something to you that was very fucking painful or you said something to someone else. It could have been with another air sign too. And now you feel like you're you want to you're trying to escape. You can't escape it. This is something you can't escape. It's on your mind constantly. It's like it's haunting you. It's hurting you. Wow. I don't know what, who said what to you. But I feel like this is not cool at all. Like, honestly, this is not cool. It's like, seriously, someone was either, you see these crows here? I feel like someone was either trying to do you dirty or you did someone dirty. Either on social media, in person, you're regretting it now. You have to deal with it and it's like haunting you now constantly. Let me get one more. Man. It's all air energy here. The devil. Yeah, you see? Low vibrational energies. Someone was being very fucking negative. I don't know if this, I feel like this was you, Aqua. Or maybe someone you were dealing with. Maybe it was a Capricorn. Or another air sign. Aqua Libra Gem. Someone was trying to put you down. Like literally. Look how the devil just has a hold of this woman here. She's just dangling there. Feeling hopeless feeling done with life right like the devil has a hold on you like the dark energies the lower vibrational is taking over and it's like really hurting and affecting you and you're trying really hard to fight it off i feel like you can you're you're very you're very strong you can do it you can you can fight this off just be positive okay just be positive let me get a um, an oracle for you really quick. Think happy thoughts. Get more information. Maybe you need to get more information or someone needs to get more information. Instead of coming out to judge somebody or vice versa, someone needs to get their fucking facts straight. Is what I'm saying here. Okay, all right, Libra, let's 
By the way, I'm using the Tarot of Vampires. Look at the back of it. So beautiful, seducing. And then I'm clarifying with the, um, what's it called? I just got it. The Alchemy 1977 England Tarot. Amazing. Obsessed with these cards. Oops. <laughs> All right, Libra. Let's see. What's going on with my Libra? Three of Grails reversed and the Eight of Grails. So Eight of Cups and the Three of Cups reversed. Mmm. Damn. Someone's not walking away from partying too much. I feel like somebody's partying way too damn much and you need to, you need to, you stop. Okay? It's like you take breaks, you get drunk, you get hungover, and you do it again. Someone's drinking way too goddamn much. It's going to affect you one way or another. And people are telling you. I feel like you in your heart, you know that you are, you're going to stop this one day. But you're not able to fully walk away from it. Especially with the Eight of Grails reversed. This is not being able to turn your back, walk away. Detach from it. Three of Grails reversed means someone needs to break from the party life. From the alcohol, the drugs. Definitely that. Let me get my clarifiers. Maybe you're hanging around the wrong crowd. And that's why you're always, you feel like you're influenced to do, to keep on drinking. Someone's drinking way too much is what I'm seeing here. Someone was partying way too much. Overindulgence. Okay. Okay. So we have the Two of Roses. Wow. With the Death card reversed. So Two of Wands, which is the Two of Roses. Okay. See that? With Death, death reversed. You could be juggling like two people. And you feel like... Hmm. No, not juggling two people. I'm sorry, I thought that was a... I was thinking about pentacles. You know what you have to do. You have to make a decision, okay? It's like you're looking, you're observing your, you know, your situation. It's kind of like you're calling out for help, but, you know, to your higher self. You know what you need to do. You need to make that choice. You've been thinking a lot about it. And with death reverse, you're fighting it. You're fighting it. You're not allowing it to end. This is like, look at this. Eight of Grails with the death reversed. You are not letting it, you're not letting it end. You're not giving it up. There's something that you're not giving up. You're holding fucking tight to it. And it's not healthy. I feel like this is not healthy at all. And you know what you have to do, but you're not, you know, you're not detaching from it. You feel like you need to, you know, have this transformation to live a better life. But I feel like you, it's hard for you to detach. Too much parting, dude. Or girl. Gotta cut that shit out if you want to make better life choices. Let's get a... Uh... Hmm. And maybe within the next few weeks you will. Maybe you're, yeah, I feel like it's definitely you need to detach from the party life too much. You know, it's, it's fucking your body up, your energy, people around you, the drama and shit. It's not good. It's toxic. So uh, within the next few months, what's within the next few months? Maybe you'll make better life choices. Maybe you'll make that decision finally to, you know, walk away from it. Detach finally. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. Be assertive. You know what you need to do. You know exactly what you need to do. Be positive. Be honest with yourself. And make better choices. That's all I gotta say. Okay? Alright, let's see. Gemini.
Gemini, you have the death card. There's an ending to something. Endings bring new beginnings. Definitely that. Something within you is dying out. People around you are fading away. The people who are not meant to be in your life are going away. There's definitely a rebirth here. Let's get two clarifiers. I don't know if you've been have, feeling certain energies around you, within you. Your body's been feeling different. Your brain, I don't know. I feel like it's because you're going through a transformation. You're shedding your old skin. Two of Pentacles reversed. There, there could, oh wow. Wow, they're both reversed. Two of Pentacles reversed with the Two of Swords reversed. <laughs> this was your decision. Uh, you fuck. You don't, you haven't decided. I feel like there's two people involved. And that's coming to an end. You have to make that decision. If you don't make that decision, it's going to, you know, it's the universe will make it for you. And you know it. You know it. Okay, because this is your energy right here, the Two of Swords reverse. You're either dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like you're ending it. You know you got to end it with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Because you're playing around with that person and somebody else. You know you got to drop that. You got to end it. And mentally, you know it. You just got to you take action to do it. Okay. In order for you to have new beginnings, you got to end it with this Capricorn Taurus Virgo. And you know it. In your mind, you know it. And you haven't done it. You haven't decided yet. You're still, you know, yes, no, yes, no. That's why it's reversed. Either that or you did make that decision, you know, and you're ending it with a, a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. You no longer want to deal with their shit or whatever. Oh, what's about? Let's get an oracle here. Angel answers. Damn, that flew right out. Okay, you want romance to come in? You gotta end it with that Capricorn. Taurus or Virgo, and you know it. Wow, look at that. There's something better. There's something better. Someone more romantic. Someone who will bring abundance and romance. There's something better. You gotta fucking drop the Capricorn. I feel like it's a Capricorn. Someone who is very toxic. Yep. There's your answer right there. There's something better in romance. Romance will come in as soon as you let that person go. Alright? Alright? And look at the bottom of the deck. The Four of Knives, which is the Four of Swords. This is healing and recovering. Resting. Or needing to rest. Someone needs to rest. Maybe it's you. All right, air signs. These were your by dailies. Please give it a thumbs up. If it doesn't resonate with you, check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Venus and Jupiter, whatever. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in your next video. Love you guys. Bye.